guys, this is GJ Dell, back before my team online. Now, a lot of you guys have been telling me to sell Glenn Rice. I mean, honestly, I probably should. I don't use him. Apparently, he goes for a lot. But I'm gonna give my boy Glenn one more chance. He's chilling on the bench right now. Probably why he doesn't honestly get used that much. But 2K is weird like that. Like, sometimes you have bad players that you're just really good with, and good players you're just not good with. Like, last year, I sucked with Steph Curry and Westbrook, even though they were like a 99 and a 98. So, if we don't win this game, y'all gonna have to say goodbye to Glenn. Holy cow. Why does 2K keep matching me with teams? This guy has no players below 90 overall. How is this fair? You know, 2K finally fixed the glitch where you get stuck in the, the team screen, but they still haven't fixed this glitch where everyone just walks around the court. Why is this still in the game? This game has been out for months now, and they haven't fixed this yet. Alright, I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those games where I just am not able to stop him the whole game, so it's pretty much just gonna be all about scoring. And so, LeBron James, how? That was a wide open layup! As I was saying, this is gonna be one of those games where we're just gonna have to score a lot if we want a chance of winning. Curry, oh, Quinton. Quit, why would you? Why would you step out of bounds? What are you doing, Quentin Richardson? You know, in the comments, people say, James, how can you blame the players when you're controlling them? Believe me, I did not tell Quentin Richardson to run out of bounds there. All right, Hayward, please. Hayward, nice. Green light. Oh, and Bede. And Bede's going up for the dog. Nice. Yeah, took the lead. But I don't know who this is guarding LeBron. Whoever it is, they can't do it. They can't do it at all. LeBron James. And he missed another layup. You know what? We were down by a lot last video, and we did come back. I mean, we didn't win, but we did come back. So if LeBron James starts playing like a man again, maybe we'll have a chance. LeBron! How? How? Dude, why does LeBron James play like a freaking cupcake on my team? Good job, Embiid. All right, Embiid, lob, Embiid, please. Thank you, Embiid. In the corner. Robert Ory in the corner. Robert Ory in the corner, please. That's a good shot. It's a good shot. There we go. No wonder why we lost that quarter. Forgot the glasses. All right, these boys ain't ready for this. Oh, Westbrook all the way. Westbrook cross inside. Again, go up for the dunk again. Westbrook, thank you. Maybe Westbrook will be our answer this game. I never, I never do that many good things with Westbrook, but this could be his game. Ori, Ori's wide open in the paint. There we go. All right, cut it to single digits. Oh no, watch the out cut, watch the out cut. I, dude, he ran my cheese play on me. I had a bad feeling about that, but I didn't know other people knew about my play. Force the turnover, force the turnover, force the turnover. There's Yao. Somebody, oh good, force the turnover. He threw it at the back of the backboard. All right. You know what? We just got to stay positive. You know, the more positive, Jesus Christ, these headphones. I broke my headphones the other day. My life has changed for the worst, guys. And B for three. That's money. Yes. B is so clutch, man. We're only down six. All right. Oh God, there's Yao. Get Yao in the paint. B, good D. Good D. -E. Good D. Who is that? Why, what? What? Jamal! Defense, my man! Do you play it? Hayward, pick and roll. That's the definition of unstoppable. Thank you, LeBron. Finally, my man. Drummond, cut to the freaking basket. Or somebody cut to the basket. Out to Glenn. Glenn, Glenn for two. Glenn, Glenn, come on, man. If you're gonna if you're gonna step in for the two. At least make the shot. This looks like it'll be the last quarter for Glenn Rice. Every year, we do this, we get to seed four, and then we play teams that are just way too good for us, and we lose. It happens every single year, man. We gotta figure this shit out. We gotta get better players or something. We're now 0-4 in the Ruby League. Our man Glenn Rice here, he averaged 7.3 points a game for us. 11.5 minutes, shot 55%. He was a... Honestly, he wasn't a bad player for us, but all good things have to come to an end. Goodbye, Glenn. You will be missed. Let's see how much he's going for. Bro, in the comments, you guys were saying he was going for 70K. My man here is going for 40K. Let's see how many rubies we can actually get with the money we're getting from Glenn. Hopefully, it's at least two. If we could trade one ruby for two rubies, that'd be pretty good. Ooh, Isaiah Thomas is only 6,000. Chris Webber, 10,000. So we could definitely get a few rubies for Glenn if he sells. We could at least get two or three. In the comments, let me know which players we should pick up that you think we can actually afford though. I've been feeling kind of ballsy right now. We're gonna open this all around pack. I'm basically spending all my MT, so this shit better be good. Ty, Ty, bless us with some good luck. You got this. You want, what's the highest car, color? Uh, diamond. You better get some diamonds up in this piece. Nope. You know what? Why you gotta do that? Oh my God. And the player was a bronze player. You know, it was my fault. I should I should have asked you for luck before I picked the pack. We just got a Jordan Adams. That's not what this team needed at all. I'm guessing Jordan Adams is bad. He's horrible. Oh. He's one of the worst. Mini me, what do you think of Jordan Adams? I feel the same way, man. Tell me how you really feel. Oh, come on. 
Yeah, dude, that's how I feel. Bro, my headphones are broken. Got this duct tape set up. I feel like the whole world right now is just falling apart around me. Nothing is going my way right now. Things aren't too bad outside of my team, but in my team right now, it's just going bad. We, we never beat C4. And you know what else has been bugging me? The world. Everybody in the world needs to be more accepting of wearing blankets in public. Like, is there anything wrong with wearing a blanket to the movie theater? Is there anything wrong with wearing a blanket to a restaurant? It shouldn't be. This is mad comfy. I feel great. Ty, do you think blankets should be more socially acceptable in public? I like blankets. They're warm. Hashtag end blanket hate. Thank you for watching.